I'm Keith from Dan Falls Food Retail Controls, and today's video will be on installing the I.O. onto the DIN rail. So on the modules that we will be using uh, in this here demonstration, uh, this would be the first one and the required one. It is a communication module. Uh, so when we build our I.O. layout or network, we need to have a, one communication module as part of that package. So this will be the first module that is being used. And in order for this to mount onto the DIN rail, we're going to uh, need to expand these two red tabs. So my screwdriver here is the best tool. There is a slot in these uh, red tabs that allow me to push or pull, whichever way you want to talk, that we can uh, lock them into the open position. In doing so, we've opened up the area in here for this to fit over top of the DIN rail. So when these modules are placed over top of the DIN rail, in order to lock them in, I simply press the tabs on these red, and that will lock it into place over top of the DIN rail. So now it's secure on there, and it is, uh, it is ready to go. Now in order to add additional modules, for instance, this digital input module right here, I have the same red tabs that I will lock into their open position. I now have to engage the bus board line that is between these two modules. So you have to put them side by side and en engage them through their channels that locks them together. And then one more time, the red tabs, which locks it onto the DIN rail. You can continue on down. Here would be our next module. I open up the red tabs, I engage over top of the bus line, once seated down over the DIN rail, I lock it into place. Each COM module can handle up to nine modules. Any combination of any type of module can be added on up to a grand total of nine. Each of the modules will engage just as we saw here. So as you want to build your network, you can do it in any fashion you choose. Uh, you purchase the COM module, then you purchase all the individual modules, and you build your network as we just did here uh, as you choose so that they're laid out in the fashion that you want. Now in addition to these I.O. modules, you're going to have to have a power supply. The power supply also has the red tabs that come open. When we place the power supply over top of the DIN rail, we just simply push the red tabs in, and now it's locked onto the DIN rail. So now with the power supply onto the DIN rail, we're able to supply power from this power supply over to the COM module. The COM module then will power all the I.O. modules attached to it. The same will happen when we, right here, attach our communication wiring. This communication wiring will communicate with the COM module and then to all of the modules that are attached to it. As you can see, there are mounting tabs on each one of these modules, which can be used but should not be used unless you have the DIN rail underneath. If you're not using the DIN rail and the bottom surface was not uh, completely straight, smooth, uh, uh, possibly could have a warp to it. That could interrupt communications because the bus line going through from module to module could in fact get uh, out of alignment as well. So again, COM module first, nine modules can be attached to it. Each module gets locked on individually. They have to engage the bus line and then you bring the power supply in on the bus line as well. You supply 12 volt, 24 volts, excuse me, to the power, uh, to the uh, COM module. You supply communications to the COM module. It talks and powers up all of the I.O. To learn more about this topic, check out the description. And for more videos like this, visit our YouTube channel, Dan Falls Cool U.S. And thank you for watching.